Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today's a very exciting one because finally we're gonna start working on our master bedroom that looks like crisis. Literally, it looks so bad. Um, we just haven't had any furniture in here, all you can see. And we also were waiting for our covers, for our bed, and for our little bed to get settled in, which I'm gonna get into in a minute because a lot of you guys have been asking about our mattress and our bed frame. Um, they're both from Lowell. We have been using Lowell since we got married three years ago. Um, they actually sent over mattresses to my first home, so I was more than happy to work with them again on a new mattress for both my bedroom and then the guest bedroom. We love how comfortable they are. They're super nice and soft, has a lot of padding into it, very durable, and it stays pretty firm even though it's still very, very soft to sleep in. Honestly, we have not used any other mattresses. We have no complaints. Um, and all my friends and everybody that is always moving on, like, make sure you get a low because they truly are the best we've tried and that's on period poo. Also, because I have been using Lil for a minute now and I'm a, like a die-hard fan of them, they have given me a code for you guys for $250 off your purchase if you're looking to get a new mattress, you're settling into a new place so you wanna give somebody a new mattress to sleep on. So you can go down to the description box along with their link and you guys are able to use the coupon. So you are very welcome. One of the things that I've come to love about Lowell, using them for about three years now, is the fact that um, they have no springs attached. So whenever you move around in the bed with you and your partner, you don't really feel them move around a lot, which is amazing and heavenly. This pad right here on the inside has a little bit of a cooling effect. So it keeps you nice and cool, even with the sheets on them. Another reason why I love them, they also have a warranty for a whole year. So you guys can go ahead and try it out risk-free. They also now came out with bed frames and this wooden one it's so beautiful it looks so luxe last time when we got our mattress they didn't have this available so we knew we had to get one of these and i just love how amazing it looks as you guys have seen all over social media they do come in a very condensed box all you gotta do is pull it out so it's very very convenient if you are moving and you don't want this big mattress in the way it's nice and tight and snug you can put it in the corner until you're ready to move in or settle into your new place but honestly i couldn't recommend this bed anymore me and jason love it so much so i already got on my bedding in so let's go ahead and do that i'm so excited because oh i'm ready to sleep in my good mattress with some good linen sheets let's do it literally it's such a mess but it's the reality of my life um here's all the new parachute things that we got in we have the duvet pillows covers fitted sheets so um it's gonna take me a minute to do all this i'm gonna do it and then show you guys the after my finished bed she looks so cute and cozy i know it's like not as like perfectly steamed i need to get like a steamer and also trooper was laying on it but a lot of this like this i already had from target but i love the lived in look and the duvet has like nice little buttons on it how stinking cute right and then this pillows we got from h&m home so we're just still getting like everything settled in but i'm so happy with it and then one little thing that i did that i've never done before i have a little basket down here where i keep stuff like at night trooper training collar we just take it off obviously like during the day or whenever his um actual collar some water bottles in here i had to put them in here just because the thing case they spill but how nice is this like do you guys have this at home because if not you definitely should and then we're gonna get rid of this mirror because it's just like too small for this area we want to get like a bigger one here so we can lay this way our little fan is here we are so used to sleeping with a fan so i know what we're gonna do because that's like a sprinkler situation not like an outlet for a fan so i might have to figure this out because it's not the vibe but yeah i just love how our little home is already coming together hey guys we're currently at home goods trying to buy stuff for the guest bedroom my best friend gets here and jason's having mm -hmm. major like um what's that called when you're like in a rut you just have to go he's gonna create a rut right now he's the one designing it jason i really like that i understand that but they don't go with it it's gotta be one. we have this frame right here that we picked up we have these three pillows for the guest room and then i'm trying to find like a um table for my makeup but no luck here yeah. babe what about these you don't want white look at these they're nice i kind of want them more like a linen feel yeah? yeah 
But like, bro, stuff it in there. I just want to look how it looks like this. Yeah, it looks better. Bethany, I hope you make you proud. All right. It's all for Bethany. All right, what, let's see what else we can find. Perfect. Sure. <sighs> just waiting in the line. We're too old for this. We're waiting in line, but there's a couch here, so we just sat down. This is kind of nice. I had a nice little wearing area. I like the couch. It looks good with us. I really want that, but he told me no. That's a good one to go in the house. We got a basket for Trooper. We got pretty much everything for the guest room that we needed. I want something sweet. I just had a cookie. Something. Okay, ass. Okay, ass, 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 ass. So I was in Home Goods and I Basically, spotted. Basically, <laughs> Jason spotted. broke my glasses. So well, let me see if they're good. I broke one. Bro. And I spotted them. They're perfect. Good luck. Oh, so we got two. And then he's like, oh my God. And look at the other one I found. <gasps> I need this. Perfect. Yo, we're gonna just drop till we drop in here. Nah, uh, uh Put that shit back. Bro, you hook it like this. No, put it back. Chuck is ratchet as hell. Purple. All right. And we have a we have a dress or two you can't forget. How much do you think we're gonna spend? It's probably a guessing game. Well, the dresses are eighty each. I don't know about this dress. I love those nice pants. They're eighty bucks. They're not that cute. Yeah, then don't get them then. I think we'll spend close to three hundred. Maybe less. I say two fifty. Um, actually, it was less than what we thought. Yeah, about less. We spent 190. Mm -hmm. That was that bad. Um, money comes, money go. All that for us. What are we doing now? We're gonna get the party going, or we're going home and get some work done. What are we gonna eat tonight? Mm -hmm. Chicken. We want. This is sprouts. Ugh, I don't know if I want sprouts. I feel like today. Today's purchase was kind of like the last one when it comes to like the rooms because everything else is done. Yeah. We just have our, our friend coming this for the week. So, you know, we want to make sure the guest room looks really nice. We've never had a guest room before. So we want to take it serious and like make sure that it's looking the best. That lunch we had today. Oh my God. So good. Um, we went to Fig and Olive. Olive and Fig. No, Time. Olive and Time. Time and Olive. Time and Olive and Time. Olive and Time. Um, super great. So now we're going to head home. How far are we from the house? 20 minutes. Ooh. And we're so far from Goodies LA, right? Huh? How far are we from Goodies LA? We don't need anything from there. Oh, we gotta go to the post. Yes. We should get that Mexican food tonight. What Mexican food? Oh, the barrio. We're gonna go home, get some work done. We got invited to go to another event. This was at the beach. Just inside because he, he loves going to events. And lately, like, I mean, COVID happened. And before that, I was going to events, but I could never take him because he was always like working at the shop and stuff. But now, uh, he's able to go with me to these events and he lives his best life. The good thing about Jason is that whenever I did like brand trips, he will go with me and then like, that's like amazing. But events, just go chill, drink, have a good time, meet people. Um, so that'll be really, really fun. Are you excited for your first event in LA as an influencer? We're going to Malibu, like to the Malibu house. Oh, for real? That's yeah. where the event is? Yeah. Nice. That's pretty cool. We're ready to drink cocktails for free, you know? <laughs> Network. That's where I go. He loves some networking, yo. Um, I feel like we still haven't gotten the whole hang of like working together. But the thing is, it's like I'm not that busy right now, right? I mean, you're busy. It's just that we're getting shit done because like now we're like on top of everything. That's like our main focus now. But it's like now because it's like we we'll literally go shoot and like that's the only thing we have to do for the day. Then we're home and like, okay, we have the whole day to hang out or do whatever. So it's kind of nice. Yeah. Because back then it was like he was working all day. So then I will be working all day or like by myself or like trying to like overwork because I just wanted to stay busy. But so usually now we're just like taking it day by day. I just get dressed up, we stop somewhere cute, take pictures. Um, so we have to go to the post office. Probably show this outfit real quick. Just for fun, just for fun and giggles. And then we'll be at the house. Sorry the camera's like super shaky. I have a tripod but these are some bumpy roads here in Burbank. Burbank is so pretty. Very, very nice. We were actually going to live here in Burbank. Remember that that place we saw in Burbank? Yeah, it's a cool spot. But the outside was just not it for us. That's that what it was? What was yeah. it about it? It was two bedrooms and then it was like really, really close to the, to to the, the, road. Road, to the road. And the kitchen was really old. I mean, it was a nice road, but it was just like... No, the kitchen wasn't old. The countertops were old. But I love our place though, it's so nice. But here in Burbank, you can see like Cartoon Network and like all the stuff like Nickelodeon, like um, Warner, Bro Warner Brother. So it's pretty cool to see these things here. It's like, whoa, pretty awesome. So yeah, that's enough of me rambling. Oh my God, guys, my birthday's this week. Yes, 
Monday. My birthday's in a week. But we're gonna celebrate it with some friends. And it's crazy because last year, my birthday, remember we went to Sarasota with all my friends? Like, this is gonna look so different. But that's like the fun thing about life. You just never know, you know, what, what, the, what another year has for you. Very excited to spend it with new friendships and in California. It's gonna be great. Also, like, every time we're, um, for my birthday, we always spend it at the beach. Did you realize that? Yeah. Like, for my birthday, two times back to back, we went to Puerto Rico. And then we went to Sarasota. And then now we're here in LA, we're going to the beach. So, yeah, very exciting. Hey, come here. I got you something, but you gotta sit down. He already knows what I got him. He's so happy. Hey, you gotta sit down. Were you a good boy today? Do you do anything you're not supposed to? He's looking under my arm. Uh, 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 wait, you can't even say thank you? What are you trying to do? Let me see it. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, he goes crazy for a frisbee. What's up, guys? As you know, I'm in the guest bedroom getting ready to put all the stuff on the bed and get it ready for some friends that are coming over. This Saturday, Bethany and Philip are coming. We're excited, so I gotta clean the room, do some stuff to it. I'm about to dice in the whole floor, dice in the bed. Don't know what this guy's doing. What are you doing, fool? So I gotta get this ready. I'm gonna let you know how it goes. We got some stuff here, we got some pillows. Um, got a comforter there. So we're gonna set it all up and then we'll let you know how it goes. Guys, look at how freaking cute the room came about. Um, Jason did a poor job folding those blankets. Um, but we had the plant in here. The bed came out super cute and the wood frame looks really good. We need to get like a rug for this now. We need a duvet cover. And a duvet cover. I kind of like it like that, but it looks too plain. We probably need a duvet cover, like a sand color. The coffee tables, guys, if you remember, they're from our old bedroom back home and they match the bed frame so perfectly. So I don't know if I want to do little lamps in here or whatever, but definitely going to add a candle. There's not really much I can do here. Or maybe like add like a frame up there. That'd be really cute. But yeah, and then it seems like this, is, this could be his favorite new room. But yeah, it's pretty cute. So we were going to cook tonight, but the chicken is going to be taking way too long. Ooh. And it's already seven o'clock. So where did you go get us, babe? Birria. Birria tacos. Um, we've never had this before. Wow, look at the color of that tortilla. You know that's greasy. Let me get it up. And good. Knife, please. Thank you. I need to experience this first bite. How much was it? Was it expensive? Fifteen bucks. Oh, it's not bad. Oh my god, that's so much rice. Wow, that just sounds delicious. Is it better than the other place? There's only shred beef there. There's it's no good. cheese or nothing. Yeah, I added cheese to it. Oh, the, that, this is mine? Mm-hmm. Oh, yum. Yeah, we're gonna try this out. And then we're going to nightcap. I'm going hungry. To the bathroom. I'm gonna do a taste test. Wait, let me get a straw first. Those look so good. Wow. Oh, that looks, is that a refrito? Everything to you is a refrito. I love refrito. That's just regular cheese, huh? This is the juiciest, tastiest Mexican food I've ever had in my life. This sauce is good. This is something else. Tell them what you just told me. It ain't over until the fat lady sings. I don't even know what that means. Can you, you explain? you never heard that thing before? No, I'm asking you. It's just a saying. Great combo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people are going to be like, Valeria, have you never heard that before? They're going to be like, Jason, what the hell are you talking about? It's okay, offensive. How much I bet you $5. No comments. Like I didn't say. There's gonna be a lot of people in there that have heard that saying. I didn't make that up. If no one's heard it, you get, you give me five dollars. Whatever. Okay, you'll see. See this? Five dollars. You never heard that saying for real? It ain't no one until the fat lady sings. No, Jason, that's very offensive. <laughs> I didn't make it up. I didn't make that up. Don't get mad at me. That's gonna be cool. Absolutely Let me not. try the difference. Absolutely not. Blocked. <sighs> Guys, well, thanks for tuning in today's video. Uh, Hope you enjoyed being with us today. The burrito was delicious. If you saw what it looked like, it was delicious. You gotta eat it. But anyways, we will see you next time. Babe, you wanna say bye? No. I'm Why are you wearing my sandals? She's mad at me. We'll see you next time, guys. Close this video out. Today we got something. You got something. I got something that was at <laughs> Home Goods. Change my for the I'm for the for the bathroom. So stupid of you. Not for the bathroom. For no, the, no, no, no. For the room. Wait, wait. Let me tell. Let me explain. But when I saw it, it looked like this. 
So I was like, oh, that's a dope design, you know, kind of cool, like different, different, you know, like a little abstract. So then Valeria put it down. I'm talking to my mom. She talking to her mom. She put it down. She was like, oh my God, it's a turtle. <laughs> Stupid, bro. It's a turtle. So, I don't think the turtle's gonna make its debut in the Oliveira's household, do you think? It's very aesthetic, but it's just really funny. It's I feel like we should keep aesthetic. it because it's funny now. <clears throat> it's super aesthetic. I don't know. Maybe. I feel like in a bathroom will look cute. We'll leave it up to you guys. Do you think. It, we'll leave it up to them. How about that? Should we keep the should we should we keep the turtle in the household or not? Let us know in She's, the comments. It's not that bad. I know, but it's a turtle. Okay, we'll see what we'll see what they say, and then if they say we keep it, then we keep it. Deal. Signing off. We're gonna have a meeting, guys. Oh yeah, we gotta go have a meeting. Yay for meeting Monday.